What's the best tool to use for creating graphics for Moodle courses or courses that you're producing to teach online? I'm going to show you a brilliant technology. It's free and it allows you to make graphics for banners, for titles, for the different units of your course and even lines which I use to divide the different parts of my course up. It's a free tool. It's really useful. It's lovely to use and I'm going to take you through a whole range of different activities. Really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it, please share it with other teachers, please comment on it and if you really like it please join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So the sorts of things I'm talking about are things like these images here which is what we call thumbnails in YouTube or for example these kind of banners that you might put at the top of the course or for example the banners that I create for each unit of my course. So this is the tool, photop.com, it's completely free. I'm going to start by showing you some super simple examples. I will show you slightly more complicated ones a bit later, but let's do something really simple just to show you how to create a banner. I'm going to click on project. And then what I do is I've got to choose the type of banner that I want to create. And what I'm going to do first of all is do a banner that I often put at the top of my courses. Uh, when I'm working with mood and the stuff like that. So I can just choose a size, I'm gonna go for leaderboard. Then I just double click on any of the images and it will open up onto the screen and now it's ready to edit. So you have to put up with the adverts there on the right hand side, but this side site is completely free. They never ask you for any money. And if you look here, you'll see that this image is made up of layers. It's like Photoshop. It's actually quite sophisticated. Now, the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to come in a little bit closer just so that you can see it a little bit better. And if we notice here, we've got this baby don't hurt me. And I'm just going to click on that and right click that layer and delete that layer completely. Now I'm going to click on this layer and then I'm going to come over, in fact what I can do if I click on the layers, just double click on the screen, on the text and I'm going to delete that and I'm going to write Russell Stannard. I've probably zoomed in a bit too close there, let me just come out a little bit, zoom out a little bit so you can see it, okay? And straight away I've now updated that and I've put my, imagine this is going to be a banner for example for my website or it could be anything, if I just, again if I click here then double click on the screen if I wanted to call this for example Unit 1 yeah of my course then I've simply made that banner so it's that simple to do always make sure that you've uh, clicked on the um, uh, on the layer that you want and then just double click on the screen to text now the other thing is just to notice this as well if you click off the uh, text and click on the move tool you could just grab that now and move it see because this is a layer of this image then you can actually as long as you've got that layer and you're on the move tool you can actually move it around everywhere so that is how simple I could create a nice unit introduction and then all I would do is click on file and then come down to export as I'm going to export this as a, a JPEG for example I give it a title so I'm going to call this my course banner or unit banner, sorry, unit one banner, and then I simply just click on save. That will be saved in my download. So I need to go to my downloads to actually find that image. There it is, and now I could use it. So if I clicked on my downloads, just to open up my computer for a minute, come to my downloads, then that image will be at the top, unit one banner. You can just see how much I use this technology actually. You can see here I've been working with it in the last few days, and you can even see down here, I'm always making banners and images for different things. Okay, so that was a really simplistic uh, idea of how you could use Photop. I'm going to show you something more sophisticated. Now we're going to start working with the layers. I'm going to add text and I'm going to build it up and bring in pictures and I'm going to bring in more pictures and I'm really going to kind of build this whole thing up. Just incidentally, if you are looking to learn more about Moodle and how you would then put those images into Moodle, there's a video on the screen now that will take you through working with Moodle and give you some really useful design tips on using Moodle. But let's move on now to the next part of the video. So I'm going to show you some more sophisticated ideas now working with Photop so that you can start to see some of the more things that you can do with it. So let's start with a couple of ideas. So I'm going to click on new project again. 
Again, I'm gonna come down and choose ads. Now what I'm gonna do here is actually produce the header that we often have at the top of the course. So not for the separate units, but at the top of the course. So a good size for this one can often be to use what we call billboard or large leaderboard, okay, or leaderboard. They work really well. I'm gonna do large leaderboard. Now let's do billboard simply because it makes it clearer. So we'll click on that one now. We get again loads of images. Quickly scroll down and find the one that you want. Okay, one that I often, I mean any of these will do, a lot of them are nice because they don't have images and perhaps you don't want to work with images, you can actually click here and just choose the ones that haven't got images in. Another one that's quite nice for courses if you scroll down that I use quite a lot is this one here, it's quite a long way down, it's this one here, so I'm going to click on it, so again just click once and it will open up. Now remember We've got this text here, and we've also got this other layer. Now, sometimes you do want the other layer. So what I'm gonna do in this time is click on the first layer first. I'm gonna double click on the screen, and I'm just gonna change this to, to Moodle course, all right? So let's imagine that I'm actually building a whole course using Moodle. Now, I'm gonna select that with the mouse, okay? Select it with the mouse. I'm gonna increase the size slightly, so I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. Don't worry that it's covering up everything else. Click on the Move tool, and then I'm gonna shift that over to this side. Now I've got this other text, so I'm gonna click on here, and I'm gonna double click on the screen. I'm gonna change that to Russell Stannard, since I'm the tutor on the course, and this time again, I'm gonna just select that. Remember, you've got it selected, you've got that layer selected. It's the great thing about Photopea. So just hold your mouse down, select it, and again, what I can do now is increase the size of that, and I could, if I wanted to, even click here and change it to another um, font. I'm not gonna do that, I'm quite happy. Again, I'm gonna click on here now, and then I'm just gonna put that underneath. So really quickly there, I've just produced a nice banner, but this time I've used two layers. Now, just to make a point here, if you wanted to add another layer of text, you can click on the text tool, click on the screen, and immediately you'll notice that a new layer is created. Now if I wanted to add something else here, let's say it was the name of the university, so whatever university or college or whatever, you could add the university name, then click on there and then put that somewhere else on the screen. Okay, so immediately you've made a lovely banner for your course um, uh, really, really quickly. And of course the last thing you need to do, file and export as, export it as a JPEG or a PNG. JPEGs are slightly smaller, so click on JPEG. Remember to give it a name, so I'm just gonna call this Top Banner. And remember also when you click on Save, that that will be saved in your downloads. And there is our image, and of course I can access it from my downloads. So now we're gonna focus on working with our own pictures or working with pictures uh, that you've acted extracted from Google and if you want to learn how to legally take pictures from Google watch the video that's on the screen now otherwise I'm going to show you how to use pictures with Photopea. So let's go to another level this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up our own picture so I'm going to click on open from computer. Now I've got lots of pictures here that I've actually paid for or make sure that you use images that are on the internet that have got a Creative Commons license okay or anywhere where you can get images that are kind of Creative Commons free, so you are, are able to use them. I'm gonna click, for example, on this image here. Let's work with this image. In fact, let's work with this image here. I quite like this one. So I'm just gonna click here and open that image onto the screen. Now, this image is too big, but watch this. I can click here on the crop tool, and then what I wanna do is click on free crop. And now what I can do is I could kind of move this tool move this and then move this and kind of crop it so I've got a completely different image. Now if I'm happy with that, I just click on the tick and now I've got a completely different image, okay? I can resize the image afterwards if I want to. Now as I showed you in the last video, what I can do now is click on text, click on the screen. Now I might wanna change this, so I'm gonna, for example, use kind of a white text and I can also, if I want to, even change the um, font that I'm using, etc. I'm quite happy with this. I'm just gonna put here Moodle course. I don't know why it come out red. I made a mistake there. I'll just have to change it, but I'll do it afterwards. Moodle course with Russell Stannard. Don't worry about the fact that the words are going off the screen because I can click on here, move it onto the screen where I want it. Let's say down here. 
double click again on the screen and I'm going to change that just make sure that I've chosen white and I know what I didn't do I didn't click on OK now if we click back on the move tool so we deselect the text now we can see and we can kind of place it where we like I might put it over there okay again if I double click on the screen I can always increase the size of it change the font etc to change the font just click here you've got all sorts of fonts that you could work with okay so if I for example let's say was well, just change this one here and then it will completely change but you notice it's now really big so you would then probably need to resize it down a little bit again you could use the move tool to move it so that would be another possibility I want to make sure it's nice and clear and then again when you want to dis you know click on the move tool and that will and then allow you to move it and there we are you've got um, the image you want and of course what you would do then is go file and export as and again save it as either a PNG or a JPEG um, and then you can make access make use of it remember you can always add more layers so if again you wanted to have I don't know the title of the university you could come down here and click again on text click on the screen immediately it adds another layer and then let's say you know university name and again you could then place that somewhere else on the screen use the move tool move that wherever you want it to be and of course if you wanted to you could change the font of that as well put it back to anything else and remember to move the move tool might help to decide where you want to place it okay just a matter of playing around I love these layers once you get used to them you'll see that they can really help you because of course you could do the same if you wanted to add another image as well so I have two images though normally with a banner I think one's enough just a really quick break from the video I hope you're enjoying the video and if you are please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free videos that you can access you can also find out about all my courses they're always advertised on the opening page and please sign up to the newsletter if you sign up to the newsletter you get updated with all the blog posts the webinars the online courses and the videos and at the moment if you sign up there is a 12 part free video course in using technology in teaching and I send you a video about every five days let's get back to the video here we can see a Moodle course that I'm currently developing and you'll notice again that I've used uh, Photopea to make these banners at the top of each of the units of my course but another thing I like to do is have these nice thick red lines that kind of show where the course or the unit starts and ends and I'm going to quickly show you now how I do that working with Photopea when you're working with Photopea you're not actually forced to uh, only use templates you can do anything from your computer etc what I'm going to do is just click on new project and show you another little idea and in this case what I'm going to do is simply have a black line so in fact we'll, let, we'll make it a red line and I'm not going to choose any of the templates I'm simply going to say width 120 but the height here I want the height to only be sorry 1280 and the height I want to be just 15 so I'm going to make a nice long line and maybe it might be too long I'm going to set it to 800 so I'm just changing the width simple as that very simple and I'm going to change the color I'm going to click here because I like a red line so I'm going to click on that so I've now chosen red I'm going to click on OK and now all I need to do is click on create and the red line is created it's that simple using um, Photopea to make these kind of quick images lines that I often use when creating a course again you would now just need to save that so again click on export as export it give it a name don't forget to name it and then click on save and that will then be saved uh, as a line that you can then download and make use of and it will be of course in your downloads really hoped you liked that video please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free content and you can see all of my courses on the opening page don't forget to sign up to the newsletter that way you get updated with all the latest blog posts the webinars the latest videos and the courses of course you can subscribe to my YouTube channel don't forget to click on the bell uh, that way you'll get all the updates and finally if you do want to contact me perhaps about doing a conference or doing some training with your organization 
you can contact me from the website. Thank you very much. On the screen now, there are some more videos that you might find useful, all connected to working with Moodle and designing online courses.